my hands are shivering above the styrofoam cup. My name is concealed as a reference number or student ID. If I'm lucky, my name is simply mispronounced or misspelt. Miss, I want to know your first name, I asked in school. Miss Carey looked after me so her every detail mattered to me. So how am I supposed to believe the government cares for me when they don't even know my name? Unless they see a search for a terrorist in my internet history like ISIS, Al-Qaeda or Sinn Féin. You've got this opportunity, this tool to express yourselves, whether you're a musician or not, whether you're professional or just community, whether you're uh, in good health or you're going through um, health problems. It's about you, it's about how you can, you want to express yourself. Yeah. In, in Stone Flowers, is um, so many uh, interesting things, like uh, learning, find yourself learning um, a new language so learning a song because as sometimes in, in your life you feel like you cannot learn anymore and then you find yourself learning and singing a song with another language that you can't normally you cannot normally speak and yeah and dance with other people that you never met before but because you are in that um, environment and then you you do it Going to start showed me that I could do it, so now I'm going to run with this. I've got to, but it's all because of start. If I hadn't have never gone there, I would not be. I wouldn't be like this now. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. And you've been on quite a, a creative sort of journey with with what you've been doing, haven't you? I said to Elaine, I don't paint. I don't know what the rules are, and now I am painting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Brilliant. What place do you think Start has in, in freeing up um, access to, you know, to everybody who a doesn't think place. they are an artist? Everyone can do art. If you can pick up a pencil, a piece of coal, a dirt on your finger or whatever, and draw a line or make a dot or do a smiley face or anything, that's art. Yeah. Writing's art. Putting a palm print on a wall or a piece of paper, that's art. Yeah. That's how it started, isn't it? Cave yeah. paintings yeah, and start yeah. it's, it's makes primitive. that possible. Yeah. Yeah. You go in there and you look, because it's not just, it's not just painting and drawing that's yeah. art. Yeah, I think for, for me working in a cultural organisation like the Whitworth and Manchester Museum, actually finding the fabulous forgetful friends was really a gift um, to us because we were looking for a group of people who were living with dementia that really wanted to explore our collections, but also to explore, I suppose, creativity, the arts, and how... Explore it, themselves, really. Yes, and how it, 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 it can help benefit their own well-being. Uh, in fact, I was introduced to Fabulous Forgetful Friends as uh, a group of people who can go out in the community to um, change the way people think dementia is and to educate people that um, there's another life to dementia. So, um, Ronnie, do you think everybody has a, a right to make art? I think everyone's got a right to express themselves. A lot of art is expressed through that individual's pain. It could be their happiness. There's a lot of um, emotion can go into art. And that can be good and bad. Um, but the most important thing is that individuals have the opportunity to express themselves um, irrespective of what age they are from what background they're from, what condition of disability they've got. Younger Identity is it's a special writing group. Mm -hmm. I think the thing it does best for me is that it tackles that problem of liminality. Mm -hmm. um, by that I mean a lot of second generation immigrants who are betwixt and in between in which they don't know where they are, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm a British Pakistani, and if I go to Pakistan, I'm a foreigner. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and in Britain I'm a foreigner so where do I stand in the globe mm-hmm. and that's how young identity really does help me express myself be a bit more liberal and be more free in what I can do and what I can say mm-hmm. and like you mentioned before I played piano mm-hmm. um, as much as piano is a very creative thing to do you can't express yourself vocally and express that sort of generation immigrant because we've not made that history on the piano to mm-hmm. call it ours, our own mm-hmm. um, so that's why I do poetry and also because Poetry is something that's popular in two cultures, both Britain and South Asia. Yeah, there aren't, there aren't enough of these kind of groups around, that's I don't think that. Isn't it? That's yeah. why groups like this are needed. They're absolutely know, vital, yeah. Up, no, I think much it's much less opportunity. I think it's really crucial as well because there's so many people now that are isolated. Yeah. yeah. That never actually leave the houses, I yeah. mean, for one reason or another, health exactly, or whatever. Yeah. Um, and something like this encourages them to get out and about and meet people yeah. and do something. And it's been proven, it's been proven um, that creative things and, and doing things like that does actually improve your mental health, yeah. your social yeah. life. It's, it, I have a case in point, it's done well, totally, yeah. Relationships, having good relationships is, is a really key thing, isn't it? And in, in a group like that, and I think, you know, the group... Should that put we're it on the prescription. About, <laughs> I know, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, camera Should club on, on prescription. On prescription, yeah. Yeah, I'll work on that. <laughs> A signal. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go to. I can't remember what to go to camera club today. It's be better great. for me.